Hello and welcome to another Japanese from Zero, Japanese in Five, where we take five minutes, just five out of your busy day, and we try to learn some Japanese. Remember, if you don't got five minutes, just give up now. Let's do it. Today's topic is go, don't go. And it's not just go, it's any verb to say do this verb or don't do this verb. And we're going to learn two ways. First, we're going to talk about the traditional way that everyone learns. Okay, and we'll start with a verb that everybody probably knows. It's iku, iku, to go. Now, typically, you will learn that you say the te form of a verb plus kudasai. Here we go. This is itte kudasai. Please go. Coincidentally, the verb iu, which means to say, is also itte kudasai. But that's a whole other show. If you want to say the negative of don't go, you just say ikanaide kudasai. Ikanaide kudasai. Ikanaide kudasai. Don't go. You always want to be told that by a girl. It's kind of a nice thing. Kind of the cool move to kind of walk away. And what if you're at a pool and you notice there was a shark in the pool? And the verb here is oyogu. Oyogu. Well, if it's someone you don't like, maybe you could say, oyoide kudasai. Please swim. Oyoide kudasai. If you don't know the te form, I'll give you this quickie. It's a song, it's on the website. It goes like this. Utsuru te bumununde kuide gui. I screwed it up. Kuite guide, sushi te are the te and ta forms. If you remember that, you'll know that oyogu turns into oyoide, oyoide kudasai, and the negative oyoganaide kudasai, oyoganaide kudasai. Don't swim. Here's a verb that I personally really like. Some of you don't know it, some of you do. It is to touch. Sawaru, sawaru. And this is a phrase that I often say to my wife. It is sawatte kudasai, sawatte kudasai. Uh, please don't be offended by this. There was some thing I saw on the internet just the other day about Yes Japan, and it was a complaint, and it, they gave us a, a one star, and they said, we are a, just a front for a hot chat site. We are not a front for a hot chat site, although I will say this one time in a sexy voice just in case. Sawatte kudasai. Please touch me. Of course, the common response that you might get from a girl if you ask that is, Sawaranaide kudasai. Sawaranaide kudasai. Don't touch. So it's very simple. Just take the positive tape form or the negative tape form and add kudasai to any verb. It always works. But there are different ways to do this, and this is the exact reason why I wanted to do this particular topic. It goes like this You just add na to the dictionary form of the verb. So, for example, iku to go. If you want to say don't go, you say ikuna. And it's much stronger than ikanaide kudasai. Ikanaide kudasai is polite. It's got please on it. Please don't go. This is more command form. It's just don't go. Ikuna. Hey, there's a shark. Oyoguna. Don't swim. It's, it's a really strong command. And of course, sawaruna. Don't touch. Sawaruna. If a guy tries to touch you, just say sawaruna. If you want to make it a little bit softer than don't touch, you can just add the little yo on the end here and say, Ikunayo, ikunayo, don't go. It's much more nice, not polite, but nice. It feels nicer, it softens it up. Now, let's talk about the opposite. Do it. Well, we had ikuna, so maybe if you heard this, ikina, because I said just add the na, you might think, well, ikina must be another way to say don't, but it isn't. This is why I thought about doing this particular topic, because you might get confused between ikuna and ikina. Ikina is the exact opposite of ikuna. It's, hey, go ahead. It's more of a suggestive thing. Hey, you know what? Why don't you go? Ikina? Ikina? Maybe, for example, your daughter is hesitating. She's, she, she wants to ride on this little jumpy house thing. And you're like, oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. Ikinayo. And I could throw the yo on there also to be polite. Ikinayo. Not polite, but kinder, softer. Ikina? Just go. Oyogina? Maybe they're hesitating at the pool and they're, they're not jumping in. And you're like, hey, you know what? It's okay. It's quick, go ahead and swim. Oyogina. And of course, the suggestive, sawarina. Touch. All right. So, hopefully, you have learned something. Try this with any verb. As long as you know the must form of the verb, just remove the must. You're left with the ri, and you can just do something. Except for, nope, even tabemas. Tabemas does not have an e on the end, right? Like the other ones. It's just tabe na. Tabe na. So, if it's an iru edu verb, just drop the must. If it's any verb, just drop the must and add na. And then you have the sort of suggested way to say do something. And if you say the dictionary form plus na, taberu na, iku na, sawaru na, you have just said don't do that thing. If you'd like to learn more Japanese, please check out 
Japanese from Zero.com, almost always number one on Amazon.com, but if you don't have the money, it's okay. You can just go to yesjapan.com, get a free account, and learn Japanese there. I'll see you all next on the Japanese in 5 series. Bye-bye.